the birthday bash remembered. No more bullshit. This is a Howard 100 News Brief. I'm Mike Hambrick. Robin Quivers and Kathy Lee Gifford get together for a good cause and share stories about Howard Stern's birthday bash. It's Howard 100 News on the scene. Happy birthday, you mother <laughs> It was just over three months ago that the Today Show's fourth hour co-host, Kathy Lee Gifford, blew everyone away with her video birthday message to Howard Stern. You were the head of the birthday bash with your oh, video. I was I was thank you. Her. I was just birthday her. bash ever. Thursday afternoon, Kathy Lee showed up to support her co-host, Hoda Copy, who was being honored by the T.J. Martell Foundation. Robin Quivers was hosting their Women of Influence Awards luncheon, and even Robin mentioned how Kathy Lee was the talk of the birthday bash. The highlights. Uh, Everybody uh, loved it. It was you. like uh, brought yeah. down the house. I'm so glad. I heard from everybody, so thank you, Robin. Hoda and Kathy Lee were happy to see Robin. Love Robin. Robin she is legendary. She looks like she's doing so well, too. She looks healthy. She looks happy. The T.J. Martell Foundation helps raise money for leukemia, cancer, and AIDS research. Lisa G., Howard 100 News. Howard 100 News. Ding, ding, ding. We didn't hear no bell. Whackpacker Sour Shoes works with autistic kids. And in a candid interview with John Lieberman, Shoes talked about why he believes autism is a rapidly increasing problem. There's an argument out there that everybody's being lumped into one lump sum. And there's there's not enough energy being put in to, to really specify what class of autism. Which, and it's... But how do you do that? It's, it's such a hard thing to do. So, I mean, it, it comes off like a cop-out, you know, like, like it's just going into one classified case of autism. You know, a lot of people say, you know, 20, 30 years ago, uh, a cousin of mine or a friend of mine could have had the same diagnosis, but we didn't call it that then. Yeah, that's true, but I think it's just, it just seems too extreme. This day in Howard history, May 2nd, 2006, the story was revealed of the day Whackbacker Beetlejuice was in studio. Unfortunately, that day Beetle was having some issues with his bowels and therefore was not allowed to sit on Howard Stern's studio couch. Any other stories now, from the road? Yeah, uh, well, oh. Beetle has unfortunately some bowel problems. Oh, dear. And, uh, yeah, we're in, on the way to the comedy club and all of a sudden something just hit us in the car. I right. swear. To- I did. I had a pack of Skittles in my pocket. Hell Howard, yeah, I sh- somebody must have ate them. No, I shoved them up my nostrils. Really? I, and I well, would, everybody has I that accent. I used weed up my fucking nose. Oh, well, don't say that. <laughs> you don't want to say the F word. You don't want to say the F word. Dude, oh. dude, this wasn't an accident. It was a catastrophe. Uh, everybody has an accident. Oh. Everyone oh. can have an accident. Right, Thank Pete? Thank God it is. Pete, everyone can have an accident. I have them. Really? This day in Howard history. Another Howard 100 News brief at the top of the hour or as close as we can get. Power 100.